Hi! Welcome to my first tutorial on how to make a washer necklace. First you want fender washers and the size is uh, 3 16 by 1 and a quarter inches. I found mine at a Home Depot. Lowe's did not have them and they're like uh, 13 cents each or I think you can get a hundred for ten and eleven dollars. So you cut out, you use your Stampin' Up! Um, one and a quarter inch circle punch. So this this punch matches the size of that perfectly. So I just did a couple and then what I do, the secret to getting the hole lined up perfectly is you line it up with the washer and then you just draw a circle with your pencil. And I think this is a quarter inch punch and I usually do three or four um, circles at a time and I just punch them all at once and I just line that up and then I take my stamp and I'm gonna um, do my you know do my image I'm using a snowman for this one and you just stamp now see that didn't turn out good so you could turn it over and maybe just kind of eyeball where you want the hole to be and that one's a lot better. Let me do another one. Well, that one's, see that one's too much. It's kind of hard to judge but after you've done a few of them you kind of get the knack for where where to um, where the hole's going to go. So you just color the nose color the scarf and I use a like a light green outline for the snowman it just um, you kind of see it better all right then I use this glossy accents glue and I put it on the washer don't use a whole lot just a little bit and then you put this on the washer and you let it dry for oh probably five minutes or so All right, I've got one that I've already done so it was dry okay there's the dry one and then I do use the sun and moon glaze for the top and I just love this glaze. I think it's the best glaze ever. And you basically just pour it on and kind of move it around with the tip of the, the bottle. You don't want a lot, um, but you do want to make sure you cover it good. And make sure you have good lighting when you're putting it on because I've done a few that, oops, I thought I, you know, I didn't have the best lighting and then I didn't see places I had missed it just doesn't look good if you miss any spots. Then you let that dry for 24 hours and on this one, this particular one, I'm doing this one here and um, this one has a bale on the back of it just because I didn't want to cover up his head by putting the string through the hole. So Charlie made me this little, um, I don't know what this is called, little stand and you can put um, the washer, you know, say this has the snowman on the front, you put it down like that and then you just use, I use E6000 glue which I found at Michael's. I just put a little bit on the bale, a little bit on the bale and then just attach it to the washer and it dries pretty quick and I just kind of let it dry like that too so that we don't get any smudges. But I make sure that everything is dry before I do the next step. That's the trick. And then in 24 hours I could just add my Gingham, gingham ribbon. Everybody seemed to love that when I sold them at the craft shows. And I have sold um, almost a hundred in about two months. So I think I've sold 92. So that's pretty good. So let me know what you think of my first tutorial. I hope you can understand it okay. Thanks. Bye-bye.